So can the change that? There, there, there's so much to talk about. I forgot to get yeah. my kind of thought. But so blockchain cannot just it, it doesn't change only uh, uh, money. It will also change the way we transfer information or gather information or or how we choose to be in contact with with what information we choose to be in contact. With. So maybe like. Uh, Steam democracy and then more the democracy yeah also money it can, it can change so first of all let's think of some people say when you talk about bitcoin you should talk about the reason why bitcoin first exactly so he says like let's take uh, hong kong right now the government can decide to seize the money of people there and in china you know that yes they now declare declared martial law in hong kong so it means that they can seize the money of people from Hong Kong at any moment. So with Bitcoin, you can leave the country, you know, it's not like physical gold or any uh, physical currency where you will arrive at the border. How do you fucking transport like uh, $10,000 in bills or like, at some point you have to declare it? Possible but dangerous. Yeah, very dangerous. And so if you have millions of dollars of worth of gold, it's, and, and you can, it's People have to verify the goal all the time when they're yes. buying, so it's a pain in the ass, and you cannot really transfer it. And it, so, Bitcoin is very—it's better money. And and what I'm saying is, go fucking read about it. How the fuck you're not reading about? It? I don't even know how to connect with you so that you wake up to the fact. Well, wait a minute. I'm chasing. I'm getting up every day to make money, and I never even learn about what money is. This must make any fucking sense. <laughs> Come on, your education should be like, what is money first, and then go figure the best fucking way to, to get it in your pocket. So, and I've learned about money creation before. Yes. Because so other stuff like how how you, you come in contact with. But you were talking about all oh, laws. So I saw something, uh, Luke Stokes tweeted today, uh, you know, the way we do democracy in the US is fail. Let's, uh, yeah. let's hop or let's switch to uh, a DAC. Yeah. US should be a DAC yeah. with elected custodian and then people can even propose the laws and then people can accept the law or vote for the laws. And then everybody knows who voted for what laws and it's uncorruptible. Sure. And you can even probably make them. Uh, everybody is a as a, a ghost vote, like nobody knows what. True. But so, other thing that it will change is like if you take a, a voice. What uh, Block One wants to do with voice is that the more voice token you have, the more you control. Uh, the more you you will control what people will see. And this is worth money. And the more money you put on that platform, the more of a leverage you have on the platform. And also the comments. The person who comments the first, you have to outbid him to take his place. So you have to pay the voice. And it, it goes square. So you have to go, like if it's $2, now it's $4. And if it's $4, you have to pay $8. And the voice that you pay, is being paid back to the guy that was above you was going to so you receive the voice so it's a bet oh should i comment there or should i put my post there and then oh yeah people will want that that prime estate because this is where the eyeballs are so like this is what steam was you know i was adding twenty thousand views in three days for one post on steam on the trending page so that was worth money because that was the start of uh, you know everybody flocking to Steam and becoming the most uh, popular website ever created. Because you go there, you're insured to make money, and the idea was that the token is always supposed to go up because yeah. there's always going to be more value in uh, because everybody's joining makes the token more valuable. They receive the token, and now they have to. You know, decide who they're supporting. Who are the real influencers? Well, they were. They had an incentive to front run the votes of the popular influencer. So if you know, oh, this this celebrity is going to join Steam. You know that celebrity is going to post. You you post, and then you call everybody. Hey, this guy just posted. He's joining Steam. Like all the wealth. And then it's like, oh shit, this guy joined Steam. 
and then everybody is trying to outdo the other one in a post every day, right? Because sure. the top post is where all the money is. And everybody wants their guy on the trending page. I don't want Britney Spears on the trending page. I want the guy who's revealing the truth about 9-11. And I know there's a lot of people like that. I don't want this fucking stupid YouTubers telling me about what fucking makeup he's using and what kind of fucking dildo he's using. Man, this is just like fucked up. It's you look at the, the top you, YouTubers. It's there's nothing here. There's no. I mean, there's obviously good. Things yes, there. sure. So but what I'm I, saying, there's yeah. like. I always. Do you know Mr. Beast? I used to. Yeah, I heard about it. Yeah. I was watching some, but I mean, what do you think? New Steam can be a change. Yeah, it's definitely uh, a change. I mean, okay. it's, that's undeniable. It's now not a flawed system anymore. Okay. So, uh, I mean, a change after a really long time. So, so the the last hard fork for myself, my personal meaning, uh, okay, uh, was not really a hard fork. It's like the same, the same. But the actually hard fork, the 21, that we changed to 50-50. Yeah. And uh, also the other updates, like the proposals. Yeah. And to set up some benefits to other accounts. So These are really important uh, and really good changes. But now uh, but. it's time to, to realize this change. change. Yeah. So, about the reward pool raping. So, yeah. what do you think about that? So, so I mean, there's a flag war now, yeah. so, and so, is it worth to what? to involve in this flag war? Yes, sorry. It is worth now for it, any. It's worth it. Yeah, yeah. sure. Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, there's a lot more good people on Steam by design. It's uh, it cannot be otherwise. So um, uh, everybody should use their flag and everybody should uh, flag the trending page. It should all the trending page should be flagged a lot. Everything that everything or uh, bots like there should be a war against bots. Uh, you know and go a war against bot you would have to go out against a single bot first and you say why you're against that bot is because you're against all the bots but you determine this is the best way to destroy the bots, I would say. Uh, but uh, maybe the war again, you know, the rapist could just be uh, the start. The start of it the starts war. already. So now I think it's uh, it's it's starting a movement inside the, the community, global wide. So and there are some big players and a lot of other players. So I totally agree that uh, the new steam is uh, a chance to change everything to the yeah. So what to I a better to... way? Yeah, 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 definitely. About the re uh, rewarding pool. And, uh, yeah. Uh, well, how my daughter says, sharing is caring. I mean, the thing is. If you know, I'm, sharing yeah, is caring. Yeah, yeah, so, I, I mean, if you, if you, for example, I mean, specialty uh, slow walker yeah. or Hajin. Yeah. Hajin, I, I pronounce it right. I don't know. Hajin, Hajin. Okay, does not matter. Uh, or I mean, they make a. They're a really high and strong stakeholder. Yeah. So if they make per post fifty, sixty dollar, okay. But that's but what, what what I don't like to see that is if you are if you are a really big and strong stakeholder with 400k 600k steam power, okay, uh, I mean you have the option to to give upvotes around 1,000 per week. So what's the problem to share? So sharing is caring. So my point about this. And I want to make a bigger point after yeah, that. My sorry. point about this is, uh, yeah, I agree with everything you said. So, what do you think about these people? What we can do? So, my point about this is that if you look at Steam, is that uh, 
it's important that the price goes up because if the price doesn't go up, no matter how much you make in steam, yeah. let's say you make 10%, or, uh, you increase your steam for 10%, uh, but the price goes down 12%, you didn't make money, right? Yeah, true. So it's important that the price goes up. So if everybody votes for themselves, that's uh, interest on your, uh, everybody, if you have 1% of the steam, you make 1% of the interest, everybody makes. So there's no real distribution, there's no value created. True. So the value is created by the people, what they agree on, who, who's the most uh, positive influence on the platform. And the most positive influence on the platform is the person who brings the most people to the platform. And to create good content. The quality content. To create content, but to view, to view the content. Ah, uh, okay. Because when you have eyeballs, you have money. It, like, Yes. Eyeballs is money. So, if uh, uh, a guy from YouTube is looking at it, he's like, oh, well, I make a post on Steam, I can make that much money because the guy before me came, this guy is, has less follower on YouTube, he's less well known, I'm a bit more well known. I'm gonna, I saw his introduction post, he did it this way. I can do it. He comes and then brings more people, token goes up in value, it attracts a bigger YouTuber. And that's how it was supposed to work. And that's how it was, it was fucking working. Because the way it was working is that it was not just not linear reward. It was a crazy reward where all the, the content would go at the top. But that's what's important. What is important is the very best post because you don't want the second best stand-up comedian you don't want the second best story you want the best video from the best producer yes and so it was concentrating the money and the thing is if you disagree with the post you can have a fucking huge flag because again your flag is not linear so if you're a big whale you can't hurt and that's the thing okay this guy is always on the trending page and he's saying, you know, 9-11 was a terrorist, was not the United States. People will be like, 60% will be like, fuck this, dude. He will download that post to zero. Yes. And the, the next day or the next hour, you'll have a guy that explains what happened. And it's uncensored. You cannot censor it. And then everybody that understands what happens will comment, just like on the my post. Yeah. They all commented. And then you can put them the best you know, comment at the top easily because it's not being a reward. So, and and then that comment maybe a link to the, this guy. He's making an even better, you know, journalist thing on the on level or you know. So and then what it creates is that you build a web of trust because now you have to, you have to have. You cannot come to that platform and be like, well, my neighbor was a terrorist. No, the, tour, the, the tower were all, you know, plants with, yeah. with bombs. Yeah. So it's like, you cannot come to that platform. People will be like, no, man, that's not history. What you're telling is the official version, which is the biggest lie in the whatever. It's just a stupid story. Yeah. So, I mean, if you get the down votes, it's yeah. still visible, yeah. but uh, not censorship. Yeah. And most of these people, they don't understand this. Yeah. So yeah. I think a download, it's compared like a censorship, but it's completely bullshit. Yeah. The, the, uh, so. I mean, people who say that they could understand that it's not censorship and they just yeah. scroll or whatever. So there's always this on the internet. But, um, yeah, so Steam is very interesting because still you can put something very controversial on the top of the trending page yeah. right now. And uh, maybe not be that influential, sadly. And uh, you, I really thought, think that Steam should have become the most popular website on the internet after, uh, after like a couple of... Like, we should have never seen the Steam Guild it was the Steam Guild first, it was not Curie. <laughs> it was Steam Guild, yeah, it was not Curie. So the Steam Guild was uh, evil... Uh, I remember, I remember. Evil, I don't know how to say that. Well, it was just, uh, I guess, a plan.